see my fist? Yeah, what about him? He's getting ready to fuck you up. Oh, God! No! 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 Look him out. Kelly Thomas died a few days after that beating. Today in court, we're hearing accusations of how Thomas was pummeled and left lying in a pool of his own blood. And on the night of July 5th, 2011, he posed no threat at all to the police or to anyone else. The suspect was uncontrollable. They couldn't handcuff him. They couldn't control him. An officer is trained basically to control and secure. Uh, they're not trained to tie. And this was not even a tie. Prosecutor said that the last words out of his mouth or God help me, Daddy, they're trying to kill me, Daddy. During opening statements from the DA, you know, it choked me up again with Kelly calling out for me. Without that city video, Kelly would just be like everybody else uh, who was murdered by the police, and uh, there would never have been charges. You'll hear Kelly saying, ouch, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The client didn't use excessive force, he was reasonable. They tried their best and it wasn't enough for us to contain what was an uncontrollable suspect. It also enlightens me to all the garbage defense is going to do and I can only hope that the jury isn't swayed uh, uh, by the tricks and antics. A suspect who is acting consistently with somebody with a methamphetamine background and a methamphetamine psychosis. The unfortunate abuse of the drugs over the years destroy a heart. That's what happened in this case. It's a tragedy but it's not a crime. Uh, the defense did exactly what they were out to do and that's to make Kelly look very bad, horrible, violent, uh, drug crazed. You know, but um, like they keep telling you, they don't have to prove any of it. And he repeated many times, just over and over again in this desperate crying voice that he was sorry. Like a young boy begging for the punishment to stop. Please, I can't breathe. Put your hands on your back. Okay. Oh, oh, I can't breathe, man. Put your hands on your back.